What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the altcoin rivalry between Avalanche and Cosmos. And it is hinged on their abilities to make blockchains talk to each other. In more technical terms, in this video, we will see which of these two foster decentralized cross-chain interoperability between compatible blockchains. Now let's not forget that both of these are considered by many to be Ethereum killers. And today our goal is to not see how much they can live up to the name, but which one of them actually wins the interoperability scaling challenge. We have already talked about comparisons between different altcoins in this space. And if you wanna go check out those videos, I'll have a playlist with links to that at the end of this video. But before I jump into the content, I just completely revamped my website, bitcoinlockup.com, as you can see on your screen here. There is some very exciting stuff coming and you can always preview my newest videos there before they hit YouTube or any other platform. Now, without further ado, let's jump right in. And here we go. So what do we mean by interoperability? In terms of technology, blockchain interoperability can be defined as the capacity to view, access, and share data across several blockchains or blockchain networks. Interoperability is something that many blockchain initiatives aspire to incorporate in order to make their processes easier as well as more transparent. In addition, putting this mechanism in place will boost the communication pace of their respective blockchains. Now, each blockchain holds a unique set of data and transactions, and that's why it's siloed. So why is this important? Blockchains are important for miners and investors and validators. People rely on blockchains as a source of income and a source of transparent transactions. They are meant for secure and safe transactions. Blockchain mining is important for validating a particular transaction, but in this case, they're both proof of stake. And to ease the above process, blockchain interoperability is essential. The bigger the network, the bigger the benefit. Interoperability increases the network of blockchains, just making the process more productive for everyone. Now, let's look at a simple example to help us comprehend this subject a little bit further and why it's important. What do we prioritize while transporting physical goods around the world? Obviously, logistic smoothness. Now, the same is true for digital transfer of value or sharing. Moving a digital asset from one blockchain to another requires that same ability. This approach also necessitates the absence of new intermediaries and marketplaces. It is difficult to ensure this independence, which is why blockchain interoperability is so important. Blockchain interoperability may be the next big wave of innovation that creates massive value in expanding the decentralized internet. Now, in an ideal world, blockchain interoperability would be sending, say, Ether and receiving Bitcoin naturally through each blockchain protocol communicating without a third party such as an exchange. It is a simple desire, but it is yet to come true, even though EVM is being worked on. The interoperability can significantly increase scalability, speed, and extensibility of blockchains. For example, if you have a blockchain capped at 100 transactions per second, you can create a second identical blockchain to reach 200 transactions per second that can interoperate with the other blockchain. Sound like a parachain to you? You can do this to allow for thousands of transactions simultaneously. It also allows private, public, and consortium blockchains to connect. Eventually, blockchains could even interoperate with the fiat banking systems like SWIFT. Now, a multi-chain future has practically limitless potential. 
the global supply chains, for example, might have their stocks confirmed and tracked at every single stage. Manufacturers, quality assurance, testers, distributors, and retailers might all have their networks synchronized in one single hub, allowing for smooth data integration. With each hospital network having its own blockchain, medical records could be kept safely and easily when patients are transferred between facilities and physicians. Blockchain interoperability would also allow for easy access to records and other healthcare data securely. Traders would benefit from plentiful arbitrage opportunities and greater liquidity if DEXs communicated through the same hub system. These are only a few such scenarios that might be relevant. So you might be thinking, why have I thought of Avalanche and Cosmos for this specific angle? Well, according to my study, those are the most promising projects for blockchain interoperability. They both have strong technical teams, high reputations in the decentralized community, and have been involved in the blockchain field for a long time. Now, let's take a look at the future of blockchain interoperability. And if you have not been living under a rock, you must know that the launch of the Avalanche Ethereum bridge has attracted much attention from the DeFi community, which justifies its run up, right? The Avalanche network consists of multiple blockchains and uses a novel proof of stake consensus mechanism to achieve high throughput estimated to reach over 4,500 transactions per second. Following an $18 million investment from prominent investment firms, such as VCs of Andreessen Horowitz, Polychain Capital, and so on, the project raised another 42 million in less than four and a half hours with the public launch of its AVAX token in July 2020. With the stated goal of outperforming ETH2 in terms of throughput and latency, Avalanche is the blockchain industry's fastest smart contracts platform in terms of time to finality, and it has the most validators securing its activity out of any proof of stake protocol. Interoperability is one of Avalanche's numerous strengths. Not just because of the bridge, Avalanche allows blockchains to use virtual machines to leverage its consensus protocol. Now, let's come back to the Ethereum bridge real quick. The Avalanche Ethereum bridge is a two-way token bridge that facilitates seamless ERC-20 and ERC-721 transfers between AVAX and ETH. Now, users can use Ethereum-based assets, also known as ERC-20 tokens, with Avalanche dApps by locking them in the chain bridge contract and minting an equivalent token on the Avalanche network. There's more Avalanche now enables the uses of the current Ethereum addresses via MetaMask, which is a significant step forward for the overall user experience. However, the conversion process remains a bit complicated and may be perplexing for even the most seasoned DeFi users. The UI hasn't been ironed out. And not just that, Axelar and Avalanche are collaborating to release their shared vision of decentralized interoperability, thanks to a funding from Avalanche X program. Now, as of now, Avalanche is being added to Axelar's decentralized cross-chain communication network. And when finished, Avalanche users will have another means to access assets and applications from Bitcoin, Ethereum, and of course, any other interconnected chains on Axelar via a single point of interaction and access to all future platforms introduced to the network by tapping into Axelar and vice versa. Similarly, OneChain and Avalanche have announced that their decentralized non-custodial cross-chain infrastructure would be integrated with Avalanche's C-chain. Now, I'll link my video on Avalanche here for a deeper dive into that. But within the DeFi ecosystem, the two largest blockchain platforms 
also intend to develop further decentralized cross-chain apps. But enough about Avalanche for a second, let's shed some light onto Cosmos now. Now, Cosmos is a heterogeneous network of many independent parallel blockchains, each powered by a classical BFT consensus algorithm, such as Tendermint. Developers can easily build custom application-specific blockchains they call zones through the Cosmos SDK framework. These zones connect to hubs, which are specifically designed to connect zones together. Now, the vision of Cosmos is to have thousands of zones and thousands of hubs that are all interoperable through the inter-blockchain communication protocol, aka IBC. The more technical term for IBC is a chain relay. Chain relays allow for blockchains to read and validate events in other blockchains. For example, a smart contract on chain A wants to figure out if an event happened on chain B. To do that, a smart contract on chain B needs to take a block header of chain A and verify that it has met consensus and reached finality. Cosmos can also connect to other systems through peg zones, which are specifically designed zones that are each custom made to interact with another ecosystem, such as Ethereum or Bitcoin. Now, Cosmos does not use sharding with each zone and hub being sovereign with their own validator set. A little fact that you probably didn't know is the Cosmos team has been working on blockchain interoperability all the way back since 2014 with the release of Tendermint, which is a Byzantine fault tolerant consensus engine along with a peer-to-peer -peer network gossiping protocol. Now, in essence, Cosmos is constructing a network that will hopefully make it simple to create new blockchains that will be able to communicate with one another via chain relays from the very start. Right now, many blockchains operate in isolation, and you guessed it, Cosmos, IBC, the internet of blockchains that can help make a fact of yesterday, basically aiming to ensure all blockchains can communicate directly with each other. In more recent news, a project aimed at allowing interoperability between EVM-compatible blockchains is launching on Cosmos. EVMOS, short for EVM on Cosmos, will allow Ethereum-based contracts to communicate within the Cosmos ecosystem, and it is aiming for Cosmos to achieve full EVM compatibility by the end of the year. Now, let's get down to brass tacks now, and I'll be honest with you. If Avalanche is a smart contracts platform first that is trying to chart a new course for interoperability, Cosmos acts as kind of a major port city in the blockchain ecosystem. And after studying both of them in detail, I can really derive only one conclusion, is that so far it's a friggin' tie. Let me explain and tell you why. Both systems are able to perform interoperability within their ecosystem and transfer assets as well as data, as well as bridges to connect to external blockchains. So if you're looking at specifically interoperability within the ecosystem, both blockchains are excellent on that front. But I will leave you with this. Cosmos has different trust levels between its zones and its hubs and can create issues depending on which path it takes and additional latency added. For all blockchains within a subnet, Avalanche uses the same trust assumptions, but different trust levels exist between subnets. However, because the primary network includes all validators, it can be utilized to establish confidence. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. Now, Avalanche also features a far faster finality time and no limit on how many blockchains, subnets, 
or bridges that can be established. So there you go with my two cents on it. If you have any other angle to this, please feel free to drop your thoughts down in the comments below and I just might include it in another comparison video. And with all that being said, that really was it for today's video. I hope it wasn't too convoluted and that you enjoyed it. Let me know your opinions on this in the comments and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video right now on Avalanche versus Solana in the top right corner. I'll see you guys in that video right now. Crypto Renegade out.